The next thing we are going to tackle is seller's market or buyer's market. We talked a lot about going into 2023, trying to try to predict if it was going to shift to a buyer's market because buyers have been waiting since 2019 for that shift. And we're going to have Alicia talk to us a little bit about what that looked like this year and how we're doing so far in 2023. Alicia, take it away. So I'm one of the buyer's agents for this team, so we focus with buyers. And at the beginning of the year, it was really talk about shifting from the seller's market into a buyer's market. Those prices can't maintain any longer. The interest rates have gone up, so you're losing affordability, which means that hopefully buyers were going to get a little bit more power back. That limited inventory that the other gals have been talking about and those still creeping, you know, sales prices have really kind of kept that seller's market stable. Um, a few things to note with that is basically I've got a couple of months here because we've seen in the last few months a little bit more inventory with a little bit more maybe negotiating power because that list to sell ratio is down a little bit, but it is still essentially a seller's market. You've got lack of supply with high demand. You've got increasing sales prices and sale or final prices. Not as much as we've seen year to date as the last few years, but still slowly creeping up. And then the other thing is days on market. Things are still moving quickly, so there's still a lot of competition out there. Um, the biggest thing I thought was interesting is that there's a lot of predictions out there that that's still going to kind of continue to stable out a little bit, stabilize out a little bit. But the biggest thing is if you're a seller in this market, listen to your agent and price appropriately because the buyers who have been looking, like you said, since yeah. 2019, they're not going to keep pushing up their, their purchasing price. It's just not possible as those interest rates continue to stay where they are. So looking at these numbers, you know, closed listings, obviously we're down, we've got limited inventory, but we've seen a few things pop up and that inventory to date is still low, but it's slowly starting to kind of even things out. So I think that's one of the biggest things is as a buyer, you've got some options, but just make sure you're, you're making sure you're looking within your budget in those price ranges so that you can be a little bit more in the driver's seat. And as a seller, Listen to your agent and don't overprice because it's just not going to work anymore. Yeah. In my opinion. Awesome. Anything else in there in particular that you thought was super interesting that you want to share with everybody before we switch on? We move um, on to the next last set of slides. You know, I think it's just they, um, I was looking at some of the bigger websites and um, Zillow and Forbes and, you know, those are kind of the national trends. And what they're really saying is those median existing home sales prices are edging a little bit lower all around. But remember, we're a niche marketplace. So those national trends, make sure you're talking to your local agent yep. so you know exactly what is happening locally because you can't say, oh, prices are coming down. It's not always the case. And you can see, obviously, those prices are still kind of wiggling up just ever so slightly. Awesome. Thanks, Alicia. Yeah. All right.